Chef Lean here. It's my get together, my life Saturday. I had plans to make these delicious short ribs. When I got to the store, of course my store in Harlem didn't have them. So the guy told me that this beef boneless truck would do the job. It's basically a pot roast. So I'm gonna make apple ginger braised pot roast with mashed potatoes and spinach. Join me. I'm just gonna make some like fake short ribs. So basically I'm gonna cut them in about one inch pieces like this. And then you see how it kind of has the same marbling and fat as a short rib. And then I'm gonna cut them again. So we have like fake bone the short rib. It's be super, super hot. Pour some oil in it, be generous. Cover, coat the pan. And then the only thing I'm gonna season this these fake short ribs with is salt. So now our pan is super, super hot. You see it's smoking. Um, so we're gonna just lay the salted side down of the short ribs. Ah, <laughs> down. Don't worry, it's safe. Smells good. And you don't want to overcrowd the pan. This is plenty in this pan. Steam pan ready next to it. So once I sear both sides, I'm just gonna put the short ribs into the pan. Add some other flavoring, some soy sauce about two tablespoons. Soy sauce is gonna add a nice depth of flavor, the umami flavor that everyone's always searching for. I'm gonna add some dried ginger. You can also use fresh, but you know, I don't cook so often for myself at home, so dried herbs and aromatics are the way to go. I'm gonna add a few peppercorns. These are optional, but they add a nice spiciness in the background. And I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Then, I'm gonna stir that around. I'm gonna fill the pot up with water. You can also use beef stock if you have it. If you just happen to have that lying around, but you know, millennials don't normally have beef stock in their fridge. Um, you can also use the bouillon that I showed in one of my last episodes. That's really awesome as well. So we're just gonna let this heat up, come to a boil, and then we're gonna add our last secret ingredient. So now my secret ingredient for these ribs is cider. It's fall, it's delicious, um, it's sweet, it'll add a nice sweet note. So we have the spicy from the peppercorn and the ginger, the umami from the soy sauce, the sweet from the apples and the brown sugar, and this will add just a touch of sweetness balance out all that salt you think I added too much. So we're just gonna, now that it's like come together, it's almost at a boil, I'm just gonna turn off the heat so I don't make a mess. I'm gonna just pour this carefully over my short ribs. Now I'm just gonna cover this with aluminum foil and put it in an oven for six hours at 275. So now my potatoes are done, our spinach is done. Just have to wait for the short ribs to cook, which are gonna take a few hours. So I'm gonna go about my Saturday. You know, do some laundry, read a book, or just Netflix until he comes over. I'll see you back when the short ribs are done. Hey, I'm back. Um, I've been gone for about four hours. I had all the plans in the world. Of course, I just took a nap, showered, and scoured the internet. But um, my short ribs should be ready. So these have been cooking about four hours. I'm gonna close the oven. Ooh, look at they're off. So now, I'm just gonna prepare my plate for my boo. It's so pretty. You have the mashed potato made with coconut milk, so it's not gonna be too hard on your tummy if you're lactose. Spinach, the pot roast short rib, fake short rib. So good. You get the sweet from the sugar and the apples. Spicy from the peppercorn and ginger. The umami from the soy sauce. Really, really good. Try it at home for your own get your life together Sunday slash cupping season. See you next time.